In the other video, we touched on the study investigating the effect of severe rapid weight loss experienced by people on the Biggest Loser competition. We talked about how there is a reduced basal metabolism, even six years after the show, and how these individuals regain some, if not all, of their weight back. However, as discouraging as that is, there were some silver linings therein. Still, we didn't discuss why there was this incredible reduction, this incredible metabolic adaptation in basal metabolism, and beyond that, why that reduction may actually be a great thing for your health. If you aren't aware, your metabolism is, on the surface, split between physical activity, eating metabolism, and basal metabolism. The first is obvious. The movement that you undergo uses energy, so it contributes to your overall metabolism. The second is less obvious, but digesting food requires energy, so it also contributes a small amount to your total metabolic output. And the third, basal metabolism, is the major portion of your metabolism and encompasses everything not covered by the other two. So every cellular process in your body as you just lie there is using energy, and that makes up your basal metabolism. Now, the study on the Biggest Loser contestants showed a massive decrease in this basal metabolism, even six years later, as the researchers followed up. So why is that? And why would I claim that it may be a benefit? Well, the researchers postulate that it is possible the participants experience a noticeable reduction in inflammation. Now, before I explain that further, I really need to make sure you understand the term inflammation, because often people think they do, but they don't have a good mental image of what it truly is. Inflammation encompasses the amount of immune cells in your body or a region of your body. It also encompasses the types of immune cells like adaptive or innate immune cells. It also encompasses the signaling proteins known as cytokines that act as messengers, activating and inactivating the immune cells and related cells. Inflammation is not just puffiness or water retention. That is merely a consequence of inflammation. So the researchers are saying, in plain English, that the reduction in resting metabolism may be due to a reduced production or activation of immune cells. So how is that possible? Well, you see, your body produces millions upon millions of immune cells every day, and even more when your body deems it necessary due to a threat, real or perceived. This is metabolically expensive. So we know that people that have excess fat on their body have higher levels of inflammation. So it stands to reason that the body produces far more of these cells to combat an often misguided foe. To this point, the researchers of the studies that we've discussed also point out that people who are overweight with more fat on their body see greater reductions in basal metabolism when they drop substantial weight and exercise compared to leaner individuals. However, I would caution that this is not definitive as this is only an idea offered by the researchers with some peripheral data loosely attached to this hypothesis. However, it certainly could be the case and likely is in my estimation. The amount of contribution from reduced inflammation, however, is a point of discussion. Then, if this were to hold true, even partially, we could say that even though basal metabolism reduces, the overall effect on health may be quite impactful, since unregulated, undefined inflammation can cause a host of diseases and wear down the body over time, hence the term chronic inflammation. This, along with other benefits of reduced metabolism, may be at play when considering a person's lifespan and health span. I don't think it's a stretch to say that weight loss, for the most part, leads to improved health all around. Some of that may be linked to reduced inflammation throughout the body. That said, if you'd like to learn more on the topic of this metabolism compensation that occurs with weight loss and physical activity, then simply select the next video and we'll dive even deeper into the whole situation. If not, I'll hope to speak with you in the near future. 
Bye.